Okay, we're gonna show how to remove the glove box. We'll press the lever, pull it down, and we got these two tabs here. Press up to allow the glove box to come down. So we'll use two hands to do that. We're gonna press these two tabs up like this, and the glove box will drop down. We're gonna pull this armature here, gentle with that, because that's gonna slide out of this gear, which sticks in the side here. And you want to make sure that you don't lose the sprocket here inside of this gear. That'll pop out. To get the air conditioner buttons out, we're going to pry gently behind here. Pop it out. Down. And we're going to run our cable up over the top of the vents here. And down there. Push this tab out right here so we can slide this forward. And I'm gonna hold the harness out of the way while I pull this out. So I don't have to pull it all the way out, just enough to be able to get to it. And it is this first harness, this one. So we're gonna push this tab up and slide it out. So here's our harness pulled out and we're gonna plug that into our modified harness here, our extension. This will plug in to the female extension. This end we'll plug back into our control module here. We're gonna feed the connector up through there. We're gonna feed it behind and above the vent. And it's gonna end up right. Our steering wheel, the button's gonna come underneath here and go up in the hole right here. And we're gonna route the, route the cables right above our vent right here. run this cable here up on top of the vent so that when we stick the vents back in it'll be nice and hidden away. Now the hard part is going to be plugging the connector. I'm actually going to pull it through the hole and then connect it. I'm going to get it lined up properly and plug it in and then I've got to adjust it and turn it the correct way because once you get it in there you can't turn it anymore. I'm going to shove this wire up over the top of the vent. I'm going to tilt it up and in. like it never even happened. There's the buttons. I made two holes so you don't have to. Measure twice, cut once, kids. Turns on and that tells us the battery is heating. Turns off, stops heating.